Uh, I am Dr. Kaluram Babusha Dore, Assistant Professor, Department of Economics, Changukana Thakur Arts, Commerce and Science College, Newpanvel Autonomous. Uh, today, uh, we are going to discuss about the topic on inflation, causes measures to control price. Uh, first, upon we say here, what is inflation? It refers to a continuous rise in the price, general price level which reduce the value of money or purchase purchasing power over a period of time. Everybody know that uh, this inflation part is a tremendous problem front of uh, not only particular person but uh, uh, all over the world. Uh, so we say here the general price level. After that we know the definition. Uh, inflation means continuous rising price of goods and services in market. Uh, basically goods, uh, we said the pain. Uh, so today, uh, suppose we uh, purchase pen for 5 rupees and after the uh, uh, 2 uh, hours or 3 hours, uh, same uh, pain when we uh, purchase a higher price. We say the inflation. Uh, uh, if we move on the services, services uh, we can say like the, uh, the uh, insurance we said the transportations uh, for that i would like to give the example suppose you want to travel one place to another place and for that uh, yesterday you pay uh, there uh, 10 rupees and uh, today you want to travel again and uh, that person uh, is telling you how to pay now uh, 15 rupees means uh, such per this person is taking uh, 5 rupees extra that charge come in uh, services uh, we said the rise prices of goods as well as services in the market uh, so when we see like a uh, uh, particular economics which is the famous economics in macro level like the Keynes so he said that uh, when economy achieve full employment level then after rising the price of goods and services in market is known as inflation uh, we know that uh, yeah, full employment level is not uh, uh, nowadays possible to each and every country even country is developed so how it is possible but a uh, full employment level means at least such country can uh, achieve the uh, minimum level of employment in their country according to the uh, kins uh, then uh, rise the price of goods and services uh, as early we uh, discuss about the what done by the goods what done by the services how their prices are uh, uh, increasing when we move on the uh, next slide uh, causes of inflation uh, once you understood how prices rise uh, like goods as well as services goods in the factor uh, product market and services even visible uh, and invisible uh, like uh, we can talk about the uh, services so uh, here in this slide uh, we say the causes of inflation the causes is nothing we say the uh, reason there are two reasons basically we say demand full inflation and cost push inflation first we uh, discuss about the demand pull inflation demand pull inflation means uh, increase the demand of particular goods even rise the price of goods means demand pull inflation there are various reasons there are various causes uh, we know that the uh, price increase until we are demanding such type of commodities such type of goods such type of services then uh, we see the demand pull inflation which are uh, reason uh, which are the causes behind that first uh, we see the deficit budget we know the deficit budget when uh, uh, first we see the individual deficit budget if your income is less than your expenditure we said the deficit budget uh, till you are spending money on that such commodity or such uh, uh, product means you are paying the extra uh, money uh, in your income or beyond the income we see the deficit but when we move on the government uh, side government also uh, introduce the deficit budget whenever they are need to increase the employment level so a deficit budget is there then uh, we can talk about the government expenditure increase the second point government expenditure increase so uh, people or a person employees get money and they start demanding more this is another reason to increase uh, demand or increase the uh, prices uh, 
third uh, we said the private expenditure uh, increases private expenditure is uh, nothing we say the individuals expenditure individual uh, want to fulfill their basic need, needs individual want to uh, fulfill uh, even uh, spend money on uh, their luxury items so, so simultaneously their uh, demand also increase according to the price increases then population increases we know that once a family's number increase then uh, that uh, uh, main person how to pay more uh, money on their consumption level so we see the population increases uh, uh, support to increase more price level then black money increases this is another uh, reason another cause of uh, demand full inflation uh, black money uh, is part of uh, uh, economy they also increase uh, more price level in economy debt increases debt increases is nothing we say when we borrow the money from uh, somebody and uh, uh, fulfilling our uh, needs we say the uh, debt increases uh, through that also demand uh, increase for such type of uh, general prices uh, then uh, we say the tax decreases the another cause tax decreases suppose uh, you are getting good uh, money or you are uh, earning good uh, profit and the tax is less so that definitely you will get uh, more money to spend it so definitely uh, definitely there uh, your spending is increase means tax decrease help to increase the demand uh, for individual as well as government and another part is another cause is export increases uh, export increases means uh, when uh, we say uh, there uh, our commodity we are sending to other country when we are uh, uh, selling our uh, product to uh, somebody so that uh, thing we are uh, earning the money because of export increases so uh, that uh, money we sp uh, spend for the other activities uh, other activities means the demand is increased uh, the, according to the Keynes uh, if we see the Keynes uh, Keynes basically uh, uh, pointed out excess of aggregate demand over the uh, aggregate supply means uh, aggregate demand is greater than aggregate supply is nothing we said the demand full inflation uh, this part basically uh, we can understand through diagram uh, you can see there this diagram uh, you see uh, there ox axis uh, we uh, see the aggregate demand and aggregate uh, supply o axis we uh, take the price level uh, there already uh, we uh, draw the three uh, four lines first aggregate demand one aggregate demand two aggregate demand three aggregate demand four and uh, there uh, we uh, can draw the supply curve so when we draw the supply curve uh, in uh, that in uh, like y1 y2 y3 in y3 uh, that position uh, we see supply curve is uh, vertical and uh, aggregate demand uh, curve is downward from uh, left to right uh, there uh, we uh, look out well, there we see uh, once aggregate uh, supply curve is vertical and demand curve is uh, downward from left to right that position price is goes up price is increased but uh, quantity of supply is not increased is constant because of this curve is vertical uh, here uh, we see demand is increased still quantity of supply is uh, uh, quantity of supply is decreased uh, but opposite that price increases still demand is increases even quantity of supply is less means we say there according to the Keynes side according to the demand for inflation also after that we move on the next slide uh, second category of inflation the cost of uh, the cost push inflation uh, cost push inflation means uh, we say there the cost push inflation uh, is seen when there is an increase in the cost independent of any increase in the aggregate supply uh, because of that uh, there are some reason there are some causes uh, expenditure is increased uh, why expenditure is increased uh, because uh, fluctuation in agricultural uh, fluctuation uh, in uh, industrial product rise in the raw material prices consumer speculation wage uh, push inflation trade uh, trader speculation profit push inflation uh, natural crisis 
uh, uh, these are some uh, point we can cover here in both the category uh, like the uh, demand pull inflation and cost push inflation uh, uh, rest of the part uh, we can see in uh, next uh, slide uh, so uh, thank you